back this is day three and uh, like you saw yesterday um, we finished the video with showing you that uh, the actual tank the salinity was a little bit high um, we um, uh, we we showed some elevated levels we had it at a 1.28 yesterday so um, we needed to drop that a little bit so we went ahead and uh, removed about four cups of the uh, tank water and replaced it with uh, four cups of uh, fresh um, RO water into the tank and um, it took a while right he's got to mix he's got to get all of that so I did all that day before uh, we're now going to give it a shot in hopes that we're back within the level so we're going to do another test One thing that is very important when you're using your uh, hydrometer is that you uh, you make sure that you tap it very well and you remove any and all bubbles that might be affecting um, the lever here. Um, one of the things you want to make sure you do very well, I just kind of tap on the glass. Some people have, you know, stick something in there. Some people do a couple of different things, but we're going to... I don't see any more bubbles. I actually do see one small one back here. Make sure that is completely gone. There we go. Ah, actually, one more. There we go. So they're all gone. We're going to put it in a flat surface here. And we are much lower than we actually want it to be. We're very, very close to the 0.026 than we actually where we want to be. So actually let me you always want to run it at least one or two times to make sure and being very careful making sure that there are any bubbles there we go and then I'm going to put in a flat surface here and there we go right a little bit above the 0.026 but uh, that is much better than we were at a 0.028 um i was able to drop it uh within a day so i am very happy about that so our water looks very good um and so with doing that uh we've gotten the water to the level where we want it to be the next thing is uh, running the other test. And like I said before, um, my local aquarium store um, actually will run the test for me, right, for a dollar, which is awesome. So we went ahead and did that, and I got some results back. So uh, here are my results. They were gracious enough to write them down and tell me. Uh, so it turns out that my pH is a little bit higher, a little bit low uh, on the tank. We want it to be at a... 8.3 so I need to elevate that by 0 0.2 uh, there and uh, which is affecting my KH as well uh, it's a little bit low we want to uh, raise it to um, 10 to 12 um, everything else the ammonia uh, everything else the nitrates nitrites are all look good and now that I've gotten my salinity where I want it to be that looks good as well so um, calcium also within the range as well so it looks good uh, we just want to go ahead and get that pH and that KH fixed. And so they recommended uh, reef buffer. Again, this is what uh, is being recommended. This is going to raise the pH to the 8.3 where we want it to be. Uh, very easy, simple to use. Uh, they just uh, recommend that we mix um, the, uh, the reef buffer with fresh water, right? Uh, one teaspoon of it uh, per 0.1 uh, to augment the pH levels. So we need it to raise it uh, by 0.2. So two teaspoons there will get it done. Uh, we went ahead and got this mixed. With fresh water, they recommend you to do that with eight ounces. We're going to go ahead and pour that in. Should be cloudy, but it should clear up within 15 minutes. 
Once that happens there, we're going to take another measurement probably in a few hours, if not tomorrow. And then uh, we'll update you guys on day four.